Hi Stampers, this is Kathleen. Welcome to my YouTube channel and today's It's Masculine Monday card. Um, I've just been feeling like autumn needs to be here any second because I'm really, really sick of summer. And so I needed to do something that kind of reminded me of autumn and I decided to do this card right here and I think it worked out quite nicely. So let's go over the supplies that we need to make the card. We're going to be using the Vintage Leaves stamp set from Stampin' Up! And then I'm going to use the corresponding Thinlets die. It's called Leaflets, also by Stampin' Up! And you can purchase these individually or you can purchase them as a bundle and save 15%, which is always a pretty good deal. And I'm going to be using this leaf right here. I'm using several colors. Cajun Craze, Blackberry Bliss, Soft Suede, Delightful Dijon, and Always Artichoke. And then because I'm going to be embossing this top leaf, I'll be using a Versamark pad and some uh, clear embossing powder to do that. To get the lines, I used a black Stampin' Write marker and my T-square. I'm using a variety of sponges. So let's get started. For the Blackberry Bliss cardstock, um, this is four and a quarter by eleven, and it's scored at five and a half. And I have a piece of Delightful Dijon, which is three and three eighths by four and seven eighths. And I know it's those pesky one eighth inches, but I really like the look of this thin border that you get by doing that. And then I have a piece of Whisper White that I've cut at three and a quarter by four and three quarters. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is my white card that um, I'm going to be doing my burnishing on and let me come in just a little bit closer so you can see. There we go. What I did is I took some uh, post-it note white tape and I pre-cut my cardstock down to the three and a quarter by four and three quarter inch size and then I put my white um, post-it note tape in just a half an inch up from each side of the card. And I use my grid paper by stamping up to that because that really helps me line up the masking tape and make sure that all of my edges are completely square. So now what we want to do is to go ahead and start um, sponging and burnishing our colors so that we can get that all done. Now I also on a scrap paper stamped the leaf that comes in the Vintage Leaf stamp set and I stamped that on the scrap paper in soft suede and we can sponge both pieces at the same time. It'll just save a little bit of time that way. So we're just going to get our pads open. Now you might be wondering what I mean by the difference between sponging and burnishing. Um, I'm going to actually sponge on the color, meaning I'm applying the color with a sponge, but I'm going to be burnishing it into the cardstock so that everything is really smooth and integrated. And you'll see what I mean when I when I actually start doing that. So I'm going to pick up my sponge and I'm just going to apply color wherever I think it's going to look good. It, there isn't any rhyme, there isn't any reason to doing this. Um, there's no way to do it right, there's no way to do it wrong, you just have to be brave and put down your color. So I'm just going to start anywhere. And what you want to have is a just a variety of splotches of color. And trust me, no matter how you do it, it's going to come out just fine. It doesn't matter, yours may come out like mine, it might not come out like mine, it just truly doesn't matter. And you can see by my really rubbing the ink into the cardstock that this is what I mean by burnishing it in. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll pick up some of this color. And we're usually, I'm very careful not to get a splotch of ink on my um, cardstock. You know, I usually stop off, start off at the card and work then onto the card. This isn't going to, because I'm burnishing so much, 
that if I get a little splotch, I'll be able to just push harder, rub across the cardstock, and that splotch of color will disappear. So it's just this process of applying your color wherever you think it might look nice. All I can say to you when you start doing this is to just be brave and put down your color. You can also apply other colors over colors that you've already gotten down. Like here I have some of the Cajun Craze and I think I want a little bit of the um, Blackberry Bliss up in the corner. So you can just add it right on top of your color and it will just add just a little bit more interest by doing that. So we're just going to continue putting on our color and right now it just might look like a hot mess to you but it will turn out it will be just fine you just want to get all those colors of autumn in all over your cardstock now you want to repeat exactly the same process on your card that you've stamped your leaf image on. So we're just going to do exactly the same process on this one. We're just continuing to add our color, little splotches here and there. All I try to do really is to get, if I have a little bit of color on one side of the image, I try to make sure that I have, you know, the corresponding on both sides. And, you know, you might want to say, oh, you want three splotches of a color so that the, um, you know, it's not overwhelmed by one versus another, but however you put the color on is going to be just great. So we'll put on our final Dijon and we'll call it stamped and burnished. Why this might be looking just like I said, you know, like a splotchy hot mess. By the time we cut this out and do our embossing with our clear embossing powder, it's going to look great. So that's our color there. Okay, so we can go ahead and close everything up so that I don't put my hand in the ink pads, which I have been known to do. Okay, we'll go back. And here's our card. Just peel off the 3M post-it note tape. And you have your nice, clean background. doesn't look different when you just are seeing just the design on there and so then that will be mounted on the delightful Dijon. I think it's going to pop up all those colors very nicely. So now I previously have, I, I took my leaf and I ran it through the Big Shot with the leaflet framelit and cut it out and while I was there, I cut one out using a piece of fun foam. And this is how I'm going to mount this onto my card to get that uniform lift that we've been talking about in my videos. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our leaf cut out and we're just going to cover it all over with the Versamark. I'm going to get my embossing powder and just dip it into the container. Now I'm using an uh, extra chunky, extra, ultra thick embossing powder, but you can do the same process with regular embossing powder, you will with regular clear embossing powder, you'll just have to do several layers of it. And so um, I've just chosen to use the extra thick because it will get the process done a little bit quicker. So we're going to turn on our heat gun. Let it get really hot. And emboss away. Now, while this is still hot, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of our Dazzling Diamonds glitter into the heated embossing powder and just give a really nice sparkle to the leaf. So we just have to wait a second for this to cool down. Okay, so can you see how shiny and sparkly that is? It's really pretty. All right. So we can go ahead and we can put our card together. hope you're enjoying my videos. If you are, it would be so great if you could take a moment to subscribe and to hit the thumbs up. Let me know that you like my video. I'm also enjoying all the comments that I'm getting from everybody and I truly do read them and do my very best to respond to absolutely everybody. So if you have a comment or want to leave me some, you know, if you have a few thoughts and want to leave me a comment, I would certainly appreciate it. Now, one of the other things that I did is I took my um, T-square and I went around the edges, or around the border of the card, and with my black marker, and put an edge all the way around my card. You just do that pretty quickly. It, I think it gives just a really nice little definition to the line or to the to the um, your design on your card, and I think it just looks really nice to have something a little bit different done. Um, you'll be able to find all of the supplies that I used. All of them will be listed on my blog at KathleenStamps.com. You can click the link on the top of the page to get there. You'll find everything listed and if you're interested in purchasing any of the items that I've discussed, you can just click on any of the links and go on out to my um, store and you'll be able to pick up the items that I've talked about and shown today. 
All right, so we have our outline on. Now we're just going to go ahead and we'll mount this to the card. I really do appreciate you stopping by. All right, so we have that. And then the last thing that we're going to do is to take our leaf and we'll attach it to the piece of fun foam. I just want to make sure that everything lines up so that you don't see the fun foam sticking out from below. Sometimes it stretches out a little bit as you're gluing it down. So you can be the boss of it. Just move it around and get it exactly the way you want. And then apply your glue to the back. And attach it to your card. And there you go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's card and that you'll come back again, and that you have a really good week. Thank you so much for stopping by.